3D6 down the line. Okay, episode 46 in the books. Oh my God. I was, that, that's like, I, I think that's a contender for most whack episode. Like, <laughs> two, two near deaths, screaming spirits, sleeping in a cave, running out of food, and then the, the death droid. I mean, yeah, that's definitely up there. I wasn't episodes. expecting you guys to to go. I'm sorry to go to go that direction. I wasn't well, expecting us to live. Oh, it's only the, yeah. yeah, that was the main. I didn't really thing. think much past like character. trying to escape the spirit. I was just like, we're gonna die here. Well, now that, that was definitely like a, I I didn't know. Yeah, first I didn't know if, if, if there was a. I was gonna try. I don't think I can recall in Arden Vool a more dire situation where I was seriously thinking that it could be TPK. Um, yeah. I, I don't think there was another situation where it was that no. imminent. Um, well, you, you the played it very smart. The thing that we found that killed Ted's first character. That's true. That, yeah, that was another right. one. That, was that, that was could have gone bad. badly. Yeah. And then the time that uh, Squeegee got smeared, if we'd played that yeah. a little differently and tried to stand and fight, we'd have been murdered for sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got taken captured. Yeah. But, yeah. We benefited that they were still intelligent creatures and Garalad had like a, a motivation there, I suppose. Yeah. But, mm. Have you guys well, noticed think, though we've had like a big long stretch of like more or less just unmitigated success, right? Like <laughs> we, we, we forgot how much we suck. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, that was that was I love I love that uh, chance uh, fate fate taunt there. That was awesome. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, wrong. Ever since Monkey Town, ever we just since wandered like, from room to room and found a bunch of shit. Yeah, I mean we have or, we have been very lucky <laughs> yeah. yeah or just i don't know, like, I don't know if i would call yeah. it success or luck or whatever you've been you've been yeah, surviving yeah. you've been surviving yes. but you've definitely yes. like left opportunities i mean you, you know i mean you've got that Peter huge Lee. that huge stash of gold right it's still, it's still i still there. regret that more than anything else in this campaign yeah i but, think that was a critical failure but survival's top priority and you guys have done a very good job of that um and this, this spaceship will carry that gold real well hmm yeah, I mean, <laughs> all I have to do is sever an alien hand to activate it, and I can uh, start carpet bombing Gosterwick. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah. Oh <laughs> yep. my god! Uh, this is yeah, what I mean, happened yeah, to Arcantos. Is it wasn't a civil war; it was like spaceship battle that knocked everyone back to the Stone Age for a thousand years. You know, well, what would have been awesome this week is if. On where it could just stick the wand through that hole and blast the battle droid. Uh, that's another thing I should, I should relate to the to the audience. There was a a commenter uh, who brought it to our attention, and it's just something that we overlooked was that um, yes, illusionists sir. cannot use magic items that do direct damage. Um, so the use of the wand of uh, uh, frost or whatever it is um, cannot be used by David. Can he multi? I, I'd never played an illusion. So when I saw magic items usable, I didn't read more. So my bad. Yeah. But it's fun that way. I, I like I like restraint. It doesn't bother me that I can't use it anymore. I think it's good to know. Uh, I don't know if Mike loves it. You know, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, all the more reason to get an arc. You know, a magic user in the party. Yeah. I've tried. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, it, I was I was rolling a necromancer as my next. Uh, so, yeah, and I was like, well, you know, uh, if everyone dies, I'll just resurrect them. You know, well, I mean, fine. onward, what, at like two or three hit points, all we got to do is trip him. And well, <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, it's why I mean, Matt, you had posited this before and we've alluded to it once or twice, like sort of the radioactive thesis of. You know, technology and aircraft landing and stuff, but John did point out that the Archontium was littering the whole chamber, right? And that is imbuing magic items with more magic, right? But like, mm -hmm. is that def is that defining anything about this world space that would differentiate it from a different campaign space? Or is it just coincidence? I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think on that regard. Or am I just reaching as so always? The Arcanum has actually been collected in these egg-shaped bins. Oh, oh, oh maybe they're they here to get it. it. So it's not yeah. it's not like scattered on the ground. It's been carefully collected. And um, they're mining it somewhere. And once again, like this is from a far distance, and you're seeing all that trip that touched you off to it was just seeing that orange coloring to it. But it looks to be like it's been processed somehow. It's not. It's not just like raw chunks of ore, like which is what you've sort of been handling so far. 
Mm. So it's like, it's like mounted mineral. That's actually the most punk thing. Cause here in my head, I was like, either all the Arcanum came on the ship and mm. some of it has been introduced into the dungeon or yeah, they were here guessing. to mine it. But then John just said that the shit that we've been finding was like raw ore, and this is refined, mm-hmm. which means mm-hmm. that there's like some equipment in there just full of big chunks of arcanum, grinding it into like special nose candy for wizards. That's amazing. <laughs> there, there does appear so to be like a couple party? of very large <laughs> machines uh, amongst all the rest of the gear there, but you just you have no basis for That's knowing cool. anything about it. What they, what so they would do. do we know what arcanum is? Like, is arcanum known in the world? Yes. I think we did know that because we recognize it when we found it. It is a known yeah. fact that the reason that Arden Vool was, um, it was of interest to the Arkantian Empire after right. Arden and Vool found it in the first place was right. that they reported back that it had this material in it that was native to the area um, that was extremely useful for arcane use. And because mm-hmm. arcane, arcane magic was central to the... Um, uh, to m- maintaining power in the empire. Yeah. They were all about, they were like, we're going there. We're going to build something. And then they sent Marius Tricotor and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like the whole purpose of founding the city was to control the Arcanum flow. Right. It's like, it's like spice. And that, that's really and, important. And the, the size, yeah. But, but, but the thing that precipitated the civil war was, um, not related to Arcanum uh, necessarily, but it was related to magic. It was, it was related to magic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if the, the influx of arcanum into the society kind of was a you know disruptor if you will and it precipitated some of this because you've got one side if i recall correctly one side controlling magic and being very strict about it the other side trying to open it up and if Correct. there's arcanum lying all over the place people could be doing all kinds of shit that's a very good um, question to ask ted yep yeah but it sounds like the timeline then is arcanum exists naturally or semi-naturally anyway aliens come to mine it something Crash. happens to them because this this ship definitely seems to have like and the hallway that we're in supports that crash landing kind of thing well See, not what, if this what, is a hangar this is like no. a built structure not a not a spaceship Oh, I just assumed it was somehow I think this attached is, to the spaceship. I think it's part of the spaceship. I think, like, you know, the, the Close Encounters kind of giant, like, stepped up kind of oh, like battle. This is, I figured oh. we were just in some part of the spaceship that we didn't get access to before. Like, what I'm looking at right, right at this second is the uh, elevation view, because I'm wondering right. that spaceship, like, we've been thinking two-dimensionally, like, that spaceship is like a flying saucer, a disc, Right. It could be a layer cake just the same way that everything else is working right. up mm. and down. We may be down like at the bottom of that pit. Remember when we were in the, yeah. the right? Yeah. We may be down there somewhere or concurrent with it, but you right. know, it, there's nothing that says the spaceship is one layer. It could be several. So sure, absolutely. It could be right but, above the sure. we found or right below. Yeah. As a Star Trek I mean, fan, I agree. <laughs> well, on that uh, map, cross we section first, of the Enterprise, when we first found that, uh, oh, I just lost it on my mirror here. Um, when we first found that spot, we said, oh, spaceship, right? It we doesn't necessarily day. have to be a ship. It could be a built structure inside this, the rock. Oh, you're right. It they, could be. They came in, they built it. Why they built a little space prison thing, I don't know, but they could have built it. And, you know, because we've got two actual ships here in this hangar. I'm starting to think that, like, they came here, they were mining. That's why some of these tunnels exist, right? There were natural fissures and tunnels and things. They're going through for Arcanum. They start drilling out. They're mining. The Arcantians come much later and, and keep going with the process. There may be a central core spaceship thing that we'll find. But I I feel like not our, that first thing we found we thought was a spaceship but really now it's it all it is it's base, class steel and iris doors it could be mm-hmm. a base yeah that's how i'm feeling about it now uh-huh. um, like but you're absolutely right it's clearly on multiple levels i think you're absolutely right matt about that the, the we, other thing go ahead david my memory's foggy uh i like all of these theories i don't have a, a great one to add to it but i am cognizant of the fact that if this were a structure and not a like soup this more like a base and not like a, a spaceship superstructure in which there are uh-huh. like 
Battlestar Galactica type, you know, like uh, fighters in, a, in the bay or whatever. Right. Um, and instead, we're like cave systems where things had crashed and there was like some war. The initial structure we found was very like classic grays, like, you know, like disc shaped, right? It was an, the internal it was chamber an was, octagon. Was, was an yeah, octagon. It was a, yeah. Yeah. Did we did we see a a wall structure or any sort of like indication of an exterior like facade as if it were a ship like these or was it purely just the interior? No, we we came just came in the, yeah. to break in the wall, a very small hole, right into the octagon room, which I think, if memory serves, had slightly rounded. It didn't like have corners. That's think, correct. Yeah, but, but every, we haven't seen thought, anything exterior. Nothing, nothing has right angles. Yeah, um, but we've question. never seen an exterior space. Yeah. One other question about the octagon room, the fluid that they were in sort of like the Luke chamber in, right? Like the hyper, whatever was yellow. Yes. Yellow goo. Yeah. Oh, this, is like, this, is, this is what I'm saying. It's a reach, but if they're refining this like hard substance, it's entirely possible that this can be refined into like a liquid product. This is the designer in me just saying like yeah. yellow, yellow equals yellow, right? But like, <laughs> and maybe a reach, but it's it's another it's another like functionality. If this is like core to a tech, like I mean, we refine hard objects all the time and like transmute yeah. them for like a better mm -hmm. better term. It could be that this is like a, a vitae uh, in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, see, I remember now why we thought it was a crash, and that was because of the crater, the robot, the ruined ship, mm -hmm. all attached yeah. to that saucer structure. Yeah. To us maybe at that, that time, crater is an old mine. Yeah. To us at that time, it felt like that was part of the rest of the structure, and that you know we saw the ruin, the death robot, and the and the corpses all over the place, and just assumed that they were victims of whatever this structure was that crashed. You yeah. know, but which, yeah. which was a good assumption uh, based upon the, the facts that you saw in front of you, because remember that crater. The um, the sides of it were fused um, it was such mm -hmm. powerful heat that it, some of it had actually turned into glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. See, I, I still I'm still not sold one way or the other. I still think it might have been a ship that crashed. Um, oh yeah, it could be. I, yeah, like uh, I, and I, who knows, right? <laughs> like one. See, like here's something that I that I was just thinking about, like that that hallway that we're in. And the opening into the 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 room with the all the twenty statues in it, right? Yep, we didn't weird. we didn't see any rubble like that, that like somebody punched through the wall because rocks right. would have fallen down, right? And they That's would have right. been there. Right. Yeah. We didn't see any of that. No. So that means like either somebody came in, like dug this tunnel from that statue room, or if if they dug out, then they were very careful about you know, digging through and pulling back, but we haven't seen like they had to get rid of that rock somewhere. Right. We yeah. don't know when that tunnel was dug. I mean, that tunnel yeah. could have been done while the room was in use. And somebody was like, Hey, what the hell? And they cleaned up the mess and killed the goblins that dug the hole or whatever. I do I don't know. we don't have any data. Something else think... that's weird is the tunnel where Mort blew I, up. I, David was trying to say something. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry, I can go first. No, no, you go ahead, man. I was looking at the map, so I wasn't paying attention to what you so, uh, All I was going to say is, and I don't have a conclusion on this, but I want to like call it to attention. I think it bears noticing that there's a symmetry between both of our alien sites and a hall of heroes in either venerating the same people Ooh. directly next door. That and is very what function may exist for that reverence in that adjacency, it may it may purely be coincidence, right? But it seems not to me. I just couldn't tell you why, unless Our you guys have thoughts. Are they rule our aliens? Well, I mean, like this is the thing, right? Are these? I mean, who knows? You could go in a million directions with this, yeah. or this could this could be like a uh, uh, a more. I mean, this is this is real ancient aliens. Let's say instead of it crashing. This is like a mutual exchange between an ancient civilization, between a select group, right? That are still communicating with aliens. And this, these like venerated figures are kind of like a welcoming committee. Who, who knows? This is like, I'm really going all over the place, right? But like, yeah. why are yeah. these people important and why are they next to the ships? Right. It's just like, and I think something to keep in our mind. Are the relics, are the relics actually alien artifacts that were used 
to give one, these guys like incredible power. One of them Maybe one that was definitely a deal. was. One of them yeah. definitely was. It yeah. was described as a weird tablet. white plastic tablet. tablet. Yep. Yeah. So what, what if? Well, Mike wanted to say something to him, but I'll, I'll stop. And well, I'll let me let me let me interject real quick. What if what if that tablet is the key to get into the ships that we keep coming across as keypads? Yeah. And then the mm. thing that I was going to say too that is exceptionally weird is that someone else is getting access or attempting access to these ships because in the hallway where Mort blew up, there had been other detonations to in that hallway. Some alien came out and put the mines in that hallway for some reason and then went off and either put themselves in cryo or died or moved on or whatever. Right. And we just triggered the last two, but other ones had been exploded in that hallway. And That's also a- someone dug their way into that tunnel. Which corroborates my belief that they may have had a simultaneous relationship. And there may yeah. be that the cult of Arden uh, or whatever we're calling them were in Congress with whatever aliens were, were, were there. And those aliens laid the mines when the cult was being raided. Mm-hmm. And we're assuming that this is 10,000 years prior and not just this is a conspiracy of power, right? Yeah. Between yeah. certain elects within that society and aliens yeah. that are like doing business with them and maybe giving them superpowers, like making them more like doing the X Files thing, right? The hybridization. <laughs> Who knows, right? right? Like, uh, okay, it, maybe, maybe this there was a fight right there were two different sides maybe yeah. there were the, the the soldiers who were loyal to arden and loyal to the history and all that stuff and then there were the ones that went over to join the the great guys what if the hoppers are the aliens well yeah oh, yeah, no, no, people, no, sure. yeah yeah well, well, I, I that still, yeah i still like that theory that the hoppers were like regular things that were kind of mutated by the presence of this weird stuff the one thing about the congress Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Dave. No, no, I cut you off that time. Go. The one thing about the Congress between the two species is wouldn't we have found, and maybe we just haven't found it yet, an Archontian chamber that is completely worked and decorated that leads right up to a spaceship door, some some place where they would meet. Every, every intersection yeah. that we found so far has been some squirrely little tunnel, which has yeah. dug Accidental. directly into the spaceship I was, I was bring and that up, yeah. against it. Yeah, yeah. The, two, the commonality between the two um, alien architecture points, but both have been um, well hidden and uh, difficult to access. But I have, on a question that about line... this, I have a question about the scorch marks though. Um, and one of the reasons I ran into that tunnel was that I interpreted the scorching that we saw not as uh, traps. We talked about like fusing, like tremendous heat, not, not landmine heat, but like, and now I recognize it as probably rocket exhaust heat or something like that. That is probably correct. It does not appear to be the the more recent explosion that blew up Mort. The Sorry. after the after effect of that does not look to be the same kind of okay. heat that that uh, that and destroyed the northern part. Did we and similar to the heat that we saw in the in the pit? No, no, no. I would okay. I, yeah, not, like not to glass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Also, okay. rem- remember this. I'm sorry, David. This is real short. Remember, one of the only functions that we've seen, so now this is the second function, but one of the only functions that we've seen and kind of understand because that potion that we had is that part of this was a prison thing. It was a prison That's ship. True. Like these, these guys were stored away because yeah. they were dangerous. And I, I can't remember off the top of my head all the specifics of their labeling, but mm. like these were yeah. dangerous things stored in these um, you know, pods to be kept away. Slave labor for the mines. Maybe. I mean, I think or that's prison labor. Yeah, I mean, both of these are very viable. I'll, I've forgotten a little bit what I was going to say, specifically to some of the the thoughts y'all uh, uh, put out there. But I mean, I, the other thing I would add to this, like this uh, uh, theory, right, is there's nothing that says that there isn't because this is a, you know, you brought up the lizard people, the hoppers. We have evidence that there are multiple civilizations that have lived and been either conquered or disappeared and been built over and over and over again in this location that are presumably domestic to this space. There is nothing saying that each within the, whatever the scope of time we're dealing, each one of those civilizations had a relationship with an alien that came back every thousand years and tried to fucking mine, you know, Arcanum 
and it was a hidden secret. And then they leave and come back and whatever. And there might be generations of that interaction. Uh, I only mention it because we're assuming that everything is like a single event because like, well, aliens came here and then everything crops from that, like as an origin story could very well be the case. I'm not denying that, but it's also possible with like the prisoner and the sort of like social structure we're sort of like wondering about here that this is, again, I'm just digging into the mutuality part, but like that there are, again, like ancient aliens, like the Egyptians are interacting with the star people or whatever. And they're, I mean, it's, yeah. it's Stargate, it's Stargate, I guess, right? Like they're worshiping these things that come down and they see us gods and they 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 probably enslave half of their own people to perform the service of, of uh, excavation. And in return, they are, uh, those who are ordained or holders of the secret knowledge are uh, gifted with special powers. Right, in order to do the uh, you know, the, the, the task mastering. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's interesting. Fun. It's fun theories. <laughs> I, I, I love listening to you guys throw them out there. John. Yeah. I John's wonder like... if the glassed area is um them mining. Maybe that crater was like a mining accident or something. That's what I was right? thinking, yeah. because, because they're just using some sort of big energy tool to just drill. <laughs> yeah. No, so no. I went back and looked at the notes, and in that pit, there were six skeletons wearing orange jumpsuits, like, can you say prisoner? And uh, and there, there's four of them were eight foot tall, and two were six foot tall. But um, yeah, that's and then a, there were some skeletons with no suits. So a key but, thing uh, from from that Ted is that um, and uh, is that you've seen all this evidence of like alien spacecraft and alien architecture yeah. and all kind of stuff, but you know very little very little about the species itself you yeah. used a magic trick to be able to read their language but you yep. were you were a little bit too scared to look into the pods right you were prevented from looking into the pit because of the battle droid you still yeah. have no evidence here like you 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 know you've con confirmed beyond a shadow of a doubt that there was there's alien tech here alien things happen but you have no yeah. idea really what these aliens look like what their yep. motives were mm -hmm. you know any, you know so well, we know that Baltage looks like Trivlock, but he has exaggerated knee elbow joints. And <laughs> well, I mean, five you know, with six legs. It's uh, a great. Well, you just you just also pointed out that uh, four were eight feet and two were six feet. So two were human, normal human sized and four were not, yeah, which, which would beaks. corroborate my suspicion. Either they're two different aliens or that there's interaction with within the worldly species or the lizard or whatever. Right. And this uh, we're looking at at least four different species just in that last spaceship we were in. Right. So we have a galactic federation. We're going to find yeah. Picard's corpse in here at some point, yeah, I swear. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Is but, there just one alien species? Yeah. Who, who no, knows? I think there are more than one alien species, and I think they were at war. And I think that's why there's a giant fucking rift in this dungeon, and the humans were scrambling to take sides with the gods that they worshipped. And sets one of the aliens, and you know, uh, Arden's another, and they all are sort of like processed as sort of like animalized, you know, uh, Michael the versus the dragon things in the minds of the people and in the scripture, yeah. but they look yeah. like different, right? And it's just an analogy, and and we're all sort of dealing with the gods being again from somewhere else. And so where are all movie. the different factions of alien ships and what's in the set marketplace? Is there David? some fucking weird ship there? Go ahead, sorry. I got excited. <laughs> so much good stuff. <laughs> For our next detox, could you yeah. please get some red uh, yarn and put it like behind yeah. you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Always sunny. I will wear a tinfoil hat. Door, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally.